Hello and welcome Sagittarius. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, so Sagittarius, this particular reading is going to be messages that you've been waiting for. So this could be, you know, you're waiting for some messages from a person you want to reconcile with, you're in separation with, or maybe, you know, this is a new relationship, still kind of waiting for them to open up. Um, but, you know, anyway, you're waiting for a message, then this reading is for you. Um, all right, keep in mind, Sagittarius, this is a, um, <laughs> what do you call it? Oh, here we go. This is a general reading. So not everything is going to resonate with your situation. That's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest behind. All right. All right. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Staves. Okay. Hmm. All right. So we do have the Five of Staves or the Five of Wands, Two of Staves or the Two of Wands. We have Oppression and then we have the Five of Cups. Okay. Hmm. I do feel Sagittarius, someone does feel like they're not being heard. I keep getting, you know, there's a struggle. I keep getting things are kind of going back and forth. Um, not being heard, not being listened to, feeling rather ignored. I keep getting somebody feels like all is lost. But I don't feel all is lost. Even though there's a lot of, you know, pain right now, even though there's a lot of hurt, um, I keep getting a lot of uncertainty and confusion. I still feel like there's hope here. We will clarify to see exactly what's going on. But yeah, like I said, I know you're struggling now. I know there's a struggle within this relationship, within this connection. Hmm. But I do feel like there's going to be a new opportunity. Like something's coming in to give you the chance to kind of rebuild this. If that's what the two of you choose to do. Um, so clarifying that five of staves or the five of wands. We have the six of swords. We have the nine of wands. And then we have the ten of wands. So this has definitely been not only a struggle but a very heavy burden. Feeling very overwhelmed. Hmm. I keep getting, you know, kind of, um, again, not being heard, like not being, just kind of being ignored. It's like, are you even listening to me? Like I'm trying to help you and you're just putting even more and more on me. I keep getting very one-sided. With the Six of Swords, you know, this is needing to move forward. Not exactly sure like where I'm going to be going or where you're going to be going, but it's, it's figuring, you know, it's better than here is what I keep getting. I need to move this forward. I need to quit struggling. But there's still a lot of mental conflict here. It's still, you know, again, there's that, you know, that struggle, but then uh, kind of that mental struggle as well. Because like I said, I feel like there's still a lot of mental conflict here of do you really want to move on? With the Knight of Wands, I do feel like you're tired of the way things are. I do feel like you are wanting to pursue some passions. Um, I do feel like, you know, you want passion in your life. You want chemistry. I keep getting, I want to be loved. I want to be wanted is what keeps coming through. Okay. So we have the five of cups here twice. Um, we have the nine of wands and then we have the wheel of fortune clarifying that two of staves or the two of wands. Um, so I do feel like there's a bit of a delay. Things are kind of stuck. I don't feel like this relationship that's possibly a marriage or maybe you have children together um, or maybe you've just been together for quite some time, but there is a committed relationship here that this is talking about. For some of you, this is wanting to go towards a commitment, wanting to make this into something more, you know, wanting um, to build with this person. 
So you may not be at that place just yet of marriage. But I do feel like this is what something you want from this person. You feel that connection. You want to be together with them. But it's been, you know, nothing but trials and tribulations. You know, this is, you know, that battle-worn warrior. You know, like we've gone through so much. Somebody could kind of have their walls up. And maybe that's why you feel like you're not getting through to them. That you're not fully being heard. It's like something needs to change here. With the Wheel of Fortune, you know, again, this is kind of things being on delay right now. You know, the clock has kind of stopped is what I keep getting. Um, I, definitely a lot of mourning here, a lot of uh, grieving, feeling lost. I feel like, you know, it feels like you you know, there's a loss within this connection, but it also feels like you feel lost, Sagittarius. And this could be because you don't know what to do. Like, which way do I go? Okay. All right, so clarifying oppression here, we have the High Priestess, we have the Nine of Swords, and we have the Four of Wands. Hmm. So again, I do feel like, you know, this is a relationship that there's some kind of fault within this. Something needs to happen. Something needs, I feel like a little bit of chaos going on right now. Um, again, not knowing where you stand, kind of juggling, you know, again, kind of feeling like just lost. Because you don't have the answers you need. There's lack of stability here is what I keep getting. You're wanting to build with this person. You want that stability. You want that strong foundation with the Four of Wands. But again, there's a lack of stability here. With the High Priestess, somebody could be keeping secrets. Somebody could be keeping things to themselves. Um, you could be dealing with a very intuitive person as well. There's that very strong connection. Or perhaps it's you who's really kind of trusting that intuition where you know something's not right here, you know, and it's causing a lot of stress, a lot of worry. I feel like you're kind of not, I don't want to say overreacting. That's not the word. Um, it's like your, your intuition is telling you one thing, but it's like you're so in your head, you're kind of amping it up to make it a little bit more than what it is. You know, really worried, really stressed, you know, a lot of fear, a lot of, I just keep getting going back to worry, a lot of worry here. This could be affecting your sleep pattern. This could be, you know, I keep getting like, this is my worst nightmare. So I do feel like there's, you're in fear of like an ending, something fully being done here. bottom of the deck is the three of cups all right so I do feel like that is somebody because that's what came through as soon as I said three of cups um I was thinking reconciliation we can you know things can be fixed here but I keep hearing somebody say does this person have somebody else are they talking to someone else do they have feelings for someone else I'm not getting that but I do feel like that is a big fear in this situation um with the ten of pentacles again I feel like you want to grow I feel like there is that lack of stability here. And that's what's really kind of throwing things off. That's what's making, you know, your feelings, your emotions, and theirs feel kind of off. With the Five of Swords, you know, that's, I keep getting self-sabotage energy um, of, you know, again, kind of overthinking, you know, too much stress, too much worry, kind of letting that get the better of you. Um, with the Empress, I'm still seeing there's a new opportunity for a new beginning here. There's still growth here. I keep getting that you either you have a family with this person or you want to have a family with this person. But again, I don't feel hope is lost. There's possibly no communication between the two of you right now. For some of you, you're still together, but you're just not really working on the issues. For others of you, you've kind of, you're taking a break.
But I do feel, you know, again, kind of getting out of your mind, getting rid of that self-sabotage, that negative way of thinking. Um, I feel like, you know, again, kind of rebuilding, starting over, going towards that Ten of Pentacles again. It's going to take some time, but I do feel there is a new beginning here. There is, you know, still hope. All right, let's get some messages from your person. Okay. Okay, we have a few. All right, so I found myself when I found you. I feel like an idiot for letting you go. So as that one's coming out, I keep hearing there are some really harsh words spoken. Um, that's why maybe there's, you know, a distance between the two of you. Maybe that's why things are kind of on pause. There's no communication right now um, because somebody said some kind of hurtful things. And so it's like we're just, we've kind of separated. You know, I'm over here. That person's over there now. Um, yeah, that's just kind of what's going on. You motivate, you motivate me to be a better person. I left you before you could leave me. I have abandonment fear. So there could be some issues kind of going on, you know, lack of confidence, um, possibly some codependency here, especially with that one. But I do feel like this person found strength with you. This person found that, that confidence, you know, again, to kind of build with you. And that's why there's such a big, you know, feeling of loss of mourning this connection. If this is over or so much worry, so much fear, because without you, it's like, what do I do again? It's that going back to that feeling so lost. All right, let's get some more messages from your person. All right, so we have mountain, no strings, and then home. Okay, so with mountain, something or someone is standing in between us right now. So again, that could be a little bit of codependency, that fear. It could be, you know, again, something or someone that is blocking this connection, that is kind of standing in the way. You know, again, that lack of stability. Um, no strings. So I want you close to me, but I'm not ready for a commitment. So somebody could be kind of feeling like, you know, again, kind of juggling, going back and forth. Like, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Again, I do feel a little bit of codependency. And I just feel like this person is kind of wondering, like, can I do this? Is this more than what, you know, I can handle right now? But home, you're the missing puzzle piece that makes me feel that I'm right where I belong. So again, that's that feeling again of juggling, kind of going back and forth, that two of wands. What do I need to, you know, where do I go? What should I choose? What do I need to decide here? Um, because I don't know if I'm ready for a really big commitment. But at the same time, you feel like home to me. All right. So I feel like it's just going to take some time for, you know, this person or if this is you to, you know, kind of figure out what it is that they want. Um, because they don't want to lose a connection. But at the same time, you know, can they handle this? Is this something they can do? Like I said, a lot of fear is here. Okay. Oops. All right, so we have two coming out. We have the sword and the rose, and we have coffin. So clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. With Coffin, we have endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. So again, I do feel like there is hope here in this connection, in this situation, but it's definitely going to take some, you know, some transitions, transformations, some changes. Um, that transition period between, you know, the ending and the beginning, sometimes that's the hardest you know, that's the hardest right there for anybody to really kind of handle to go through. Um, but I do feel like, you know, that's kind of the process. That's why things are kind of delayed right now. But I do feel like that's where you are. Um, but I do feel like, you know, again, this is going towards a new beginning. Um, I do feel like there is room for, like I said, that new beginning and a lot of growth here. Uh, with clarity, like I said, I do feel like there's going to be some communication coming in, you know, much needed communication and clarity to this situation for sure. 
So, all right. Well, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. So I do hope this helps. Thank you so very much for watching. As always, have a great rest of the week and take care.